What's up guys? Welcome out to another video. Um, tonight we're going to train chest. It's Friday night. You know what that means. A little bit of a chest day action. Um, pretty excited for it overall. I'm not going to lie to you. We've had kind of a higher carb day today, which has been great. Um, weight's sitting right around 270 in the morning. Uh, this is actually a couple days after I filmed the other video, so I haven't dropped much weight yet. But uh, yeah, things are things are going great. We're going to go get a uh, chest lift in here pretty soon. I just took my pre um, and my creatine, and it's time to roll. So I uh, hope you guys are excited, and let's get after it. Also, uh, I totally, totally forgot about this. So after this, we'll get to the workout. But I moved into my new room, which is sick. My walls are pretty barren, but I don't really care. But I think the greatest thing about the entire thing is... Uh, I don't need this puppy anymore, which or I kind of do, but I don't need it full time anymore, which is great. So the doctor this morning, they told me that uh, I'm good to go as long as I'm not in pain. I have a crap ton of physical therapy to do, but at the end of the day, heck, I'm okay with that as long as I don't got to wear the boot, you know? Uh, so we'll be getting back to it. Uh, right now the goal, it's kind of too early to be setting goals, but right now the goal is to be squatting 500 by Valentine's Day, which is in February. Uh, I think that's might be a little uh, reasonable we're like halfway and eh, not really halfway through even August yet we're on day four but you know it gives me about six months to get things back going um, but we should be good so uh, I'll give you guys a room tour later but for now we're, let's go train some chest All right, not gonna lie to you guys, just did uh, 225 there for like eight or nine or something like that. I, mean, I can't even remember, but that actually moved really good compared to like what I thought it would. Um, benching without the boot right now because my foot doesn't hurt, so we're just gonna keep burning it honestly and just kind of kind of vibe with it and see what's going on. So gonna keep with this weight and just do another another set like that, a little am wrap and keep it going, you know. All right, um, exercise number two now. We're doing incline dumbbell press. Um, so like the way this feels, it's a solid second exercise, allows for a good squeeze. Here, I'm probably gonna go for about 10 to 12 reps, nothing too crazy. I'm um, just focusing here on, I don't understand why that always says that. Uh, focusing here on um, just moving it and squeezing at the top is really mainly my kind of only objective here. So let's get into it. All right, so right here, we have exercise three. We're gonna be doing this decline press here. This thing's pretty sick. I haven't used it yet, so I'm very excited to kind of get behind it and see what's going on with the handle placement. It looks like it's a little lower, so kind of expecting almost like a decline press. Um, but either way, we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Gonna load up some stuff. I only did two sets on the incline dumbbells. Um, kind of just wasn't feeling it. So you gotta maximize your training by Cutting out an exercise if it's not feeling great or not working for you, you know. Um, so, we're gonna get the shot and uh, get it going.
All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this thing feels pretty weird. Uh, just because the handle placements are so low, but I think that's honestly how it's supposed to be. Um, so we're just gonna, gonna put on some weight and just roll with it, I guess. You know, that's kind of the best way, I guess, to feel things out and see what's going on. I'm gonna use the neutral gripping here. Um, you can see that there's like two different types of grips here. Um, I'll be using this one here. The other one's more kind of for like a fly variant almost. So um, yeah, we're gonna rock it. All right, so our next exercise here, we're just doing a dumbbell fly. I'm currently liking these because the amount of like stress they put on your shoulder itself. I'm allowing for really just good, good contraction overall. So um, with this rep range anywhere like 10 plus type thing, just really forcing it, feeling it out. Uh, just gonna be taking it to failure um, and then trying to do some partials at the end. But uh, otherwise than that, pretty simple. All right, uh, I have no idea what exercise this is. Like four or five, maybe. We're doing uh, like like high rows, I guess you could call them, or like that's what I call them at least. Um, I like these; they allow me to move a heavy weight and kind of maximally contract my shoulders. We're on the shoulders now, by the way. Um, don't really have too many shoulder movements. Going to do this and probably like a a cable raise or a dumbbell raise or something like that. Uh, that'll, that'll honestly kind of be it for the workout.
All right, people, just finished up at the gym, showered, changed, I'm actually eating some food right now. But I figured I'd show you guys the new room, so come on in. Um, first off, we're starting off here, right in the entranceway, a little fridge action here. Probably like the best place that I could have put it at the time. I'm borrowing this from a buddy. Shout out Zach, if you're watching this, you're, you're a dog. Uh, I get, but I have to give this back to you, coming up soon. Microwave and a vacuum, gotta keep your space clean. Coming over here, we have a mirror here, which is wonderful, say hello to yourselves. Um, dresser, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna end up getting like a full size mirror that I can attach to the back of the door, kind of do some posing and stuff like that. Um, food shelf, got all my stuff here, Dextrose pre-workout, creatine, pro series. If you guys don't have a good protein, this is low key really solid. 50 grams of protein for 310 calories with 17 grams of carbs, definitely solid. Um, I kind of have that in the morning when I wake up. Um, some fruit, random stuff. Uh, Protein bars, of course. Got the calendar here. Got the August goals here. Nothing too crazy. I actually watched some YouTube too, my boy Brendan Harden. Um, got my desk there, which is really nice. I have a nice monitor here to set up and do some work with. Um, closet space, which is not shabby at all. Um, shoes, boot, gym bag, kind of everything below here. Transition to this side of the room. Got some dark out curtains, because uh, or black out curtains, because your boy can't sleep at night, which sucks. Um, a bed that I don't fit in, which we love. Shout out being 6'7". Uh, TV, and then we got the Xbox right behind here. Got to stay entertained. Scale in the morning. And uh, yeah, it's low-key about it. Pretty solid setup. Not going to lie to you. Definitely, definitely love it. It's a lot bigger. Or I wouldn't say it's bigger than last year's place, but it's the space is used a lot better uh, in so many words. Like beforehand, the closet here was actually like right against the door. So like right as you walked in, you were like bombarded with my closet. So it's definitely nice to kind of change that up. Um, but yeah, let's look at the room tour. I'm gonna get into a little bit, uh, some other stuff right now, uh, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, so kind of with everything, the way that things are going, we kind of want to just go over my August goals. This is like my second video of August. Should be my first, but I kind of messed up last week. And then that's explained in the previous video. So go check that out. Um, as you guys can see up there, I have my August goals. I'll read them to you off real quick. So weighing in at 255 and 260, that's kind of like a key for me um, right now, just kind of with my whole weight loss thing and making sure I'm actively actively on top of that and uh, you know keeping that in mind with everything. Uh, I want to read the 48 Laws of Powers. I have it right now. I'm going on vacation next week. The plan is just to crush it. Uh, it's 48 chapters. It's like 400 pages or so, something like that. But it talks about the 48 ways to either obtain power, main maintain power or use power um, and it's kind of more of a stoic philosophy book which I'm really really into that sort of stuff right now um, I want to get a good start with school as school starts on the 28th so towards the end of the month but still good solid start with everything like that and then kind of want to narrow my grad list school options down right now um, I'll be actually looking at a couple places while I'm down on vacation it kind of blows kind of doesn't but um, you know it's important to get the job done while we can um, and then honestly, just kind of in, in, sit back and enjoy and relax. This is my last little bit of summer. Uh, tr you know, train my butt off, make sure I'm, I'm working hard and I'm eating right, um, that I'm still maintaining everything I've built. But um, yeah, low-key, not, not too bad of a little list there, just five things really. Um, but yeah, it's all things. I'm going on vacation this, up, this next upcoming week. I plan to try to get a video out to you. I'm just gonna, I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera. I think I'll just be bringing my iPhone. So audio quality might be a little bad, but at the same time, um, I want to kind of enjoy myself on vacation too. I'm not going to end up training a bunch, probably four times that week or something like that, but definitely definitely still hitting the bike every day or doing some sort of active cardio for, for everything going on. Um, a lot of the stuff that I'll be doing is actually taking care of my foot because I want to you know make sure that I have a great comeback with that. Um, plan right now is to squat 500 by Valentine's Day. So um, that's my new plan with everything like that beforehand. It was July 4th. But then the foot thing happened and I wasn't able to. So now it's February like 14th, I think is July, or not July, um, Valentine's Day or whatever it is. So we'll end up seeing with that. But yeah, but this is the space for now. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, it's definitely, definitely good. Um, it's nice to be back in funk. I'm excited for this upcoming year of school and everything like that and excited to grow and learn. And so, um, yeah, but thank you guys for tuning into the, the video this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to do my best next week on vacation for you guys. And, um, yeah, anyways, keep it real and peace out.